guys, welcome back to Sim UK. Welcome back to House Flipper. Now, I've got some bad news, from my perspective at least. Um, I encountered my first bug on this game. Last week, I thought uh, I was permanently stuck in moonwalk mode. Turns out it's nothing to do with House Flipper at all. It's my keyboard. It's been doing some weird stuff for ages. It's never done that before. But straight after playing House Flipper, I loaded up another game and it was doing exactly the same thing in that. So that's what the problem was. So apologies to the House Flipper team if uh, for me suggesting that it was the game causing that problem. It wasn't at all. It was my stupid ass keyboard. Okay, so <clears throat> I have encountered my first bug though, and this is an official bug. I made some great episodes, I've got to say. Four in total. I bought a house. I totally renovated it. It looked amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, let me just... Uh, 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 so new stuff that's come in. Let's just do this first. Okay, visual upgrade. The game looks more pleasant, especially lighting. Now, I discussed the lighting a lot in the videos that you're never going to see, and I'll explain why that is in a moment. But uh, no, the lighting is a bit broken, and it needs dealing with. But it's still in beta, so it's not a big deal. Um, curtains and blinds are now available in the shop, but can you install them? Yes, you can. It's pretty straightforward. For some reason, the blinds don't cost any money, but... It's in beta, that'll get fixed. This works really well, it looks brilliant actually. Only thing is, my only thing is, you can open and close the curtains, but you can't open and close the blinds or the curtains. Hang on, did I say curtains twice? You can open and close the windows, but you can't open and close the blinds or the curtains, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully, maybe that'll change, I don't know. UI updates, some UI elements were updated. Now I've got a problem with this, which I'll explain in a moment. We'll come back to that, I guess. Optimi optimization, optimization, a performance improvement, especially in bigger houses. Haven't really seen that, but then I haven't been working in bigger houses. Some houses have missing air conditioners. We count on you. So now you've got an air conditioning unit that you can include, which is cool. Updated cleaning perk. We decided to update cleaning perks. We hope it's more interesting and useful now. These are actually quite good. I only, um, I only, I think I got six. So I'll probably show you that during the next couple of episodes, but yeah, that's uh, that's quite a cool feature. I don't know if that was there before or not, because I just kind of stumbled across it. Light switches. This is quite cool. You now have light switches. You can install them and use them as you would a light switch, which is pretty good. Appraisers balance. I don't really understand any of this, to be fair. Uh, you'll see when I buy a house, you'll see some people's faces come up on the left hand side here. And they have like green up arrows or red down arrows and they swap around as to who's most interested in the house or whatever but there's not really any information there and i don't get it at all personally i think when you try and sell it that's the only time you need to see these guys but that's just my personal opinion uh flashlights obviously may be useful in some circumstances so that's good uh some small bucks uh, bucks bug fixes and small improvements well Let's continue game and I'll explain what's happened here. So here we are back at the bungalow and you can see I'm not moonwalking today. So that's good. Let's go into our office. Now, if you remember in the last episode, we had about £90,000. If I go to mail, we've got a job here. This is quite an interesting job actually. Thomas Johansson. He wants us, he says, this is quite funny this email. Hello, my daughter has three years old and should has her own room. Now we're living in house with only two rooms, but this rooms are big enough to split one of them into two rooms. So built wall middle my bedroom, both of rooms should have doors to corridor, please. She needs new bed, or she need new bed, change baby bed for new single bed. A few typos there. I, by the way, guys, I quite happily offer my services to uh, convert that into English should you so desire so anyway uh let's go to the browser now you can see we haven't got ninety thousand anymore and what we did was we built the most dilapidated most broken down most busted house that was available in the game and then started doing it up and i oh my god it looks so good but uh two things happened the first thing that happened was my microphone didn't record so i've got four episodes with no audio and i was like okay that's happened before I can just record audio over the top of it and say, hey, look, this is what happened. But, you know, still share the footage. That would have been great. But in a kind of 
stroppy temper type thing, I've deleted them all. So they've all gone and I can't find them anywhere. So that's that. Um, but the reason why I was so stroppy was because I put a wardrobe, I tried to put a wardrobe in the master bedroom, which looked amazing, I have to say. I put a, a, a wardrobe in the master bedroom and it started pinging around, pinging around the room like crazy craziness. And then the game crashed. So <laughs> I was like, whoa, that was intense. Check the video, video was okay. I didn't know it had no audio at the time. So I was like, okay, thank goodness for that. So I loaded the game back up to try and finish off building the house. And uh, all the money that I'd spent on it had gone. But as you can see, no house. I have no house. Where's the house? The house is gone and I can't get to it and I can't reload it and I can't rebuy it either because obviously it's come off the for sale market because I own it. So I've lost all that money plus the house and I'm absolutely gutted. And now, of course, the, the house we bought, I think, was £47,000 um, and that's all we've got left. So it, it must have been less than 47000 because we only had 90 something. So, uh, yeah, I don't even have enough now to buy a house. So now I'm really, really <laughs> annoyed. Uh, and I've tried to leave comments on the uh, house flipper uh, beta testers bug fixing thing, but apparently I don't have permission to leave a message. So I can't even do that. I can't even tell the guys uh, that, that this has happened. And even possibly more annoying is the fact that um, I've deleted the video footage, so I can't even show anybody what happened. I can't even show you how amazing the house looked, and it did look absolutely amazing. I've got to say, actually, the layout was almost identical to this. In fact, I think it was identical to this. Slightly different. There was a bedroom on the left here, and this was the lounge and kitchen area. But yeah, pretty, pretty similar to this, actually. Pretty similar to this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have to take Mr. Thomas Johansson's job on because we don't have enough money to do anything else. So that's it for today's episode. Oh, this is a pleasant looking house. Let's take a look around the outside. Now, there's so many things. I'll tell you what, the, the episodes that you're never going to see. Oh, wow, this is a nice house. That's some weird stripes going on in there, but nice nonetheless. It was such a good episode. I had so many good chats. Um, oh, that's nice. That's a kid's bedroom. So many good chats. It was really, really awesome. Um, and one of the things I said was, wouldn't it be great if the grass grew and you could mow it? And that was sort of an extra selling point. That would be great. Plus, I don't think you can put things out in the garden. These lights and so on, that would be brilliant if you could do that and install lights like this. I don't think you can. I couldn't, anyway. Maybe it's coming in the future. Hello. Oh, wow. Now, this is a nicely put together place, isn't it? Does annoy me slightly that that's not in the middle of the map. We'll just fix that little problem. That's not in the middle of the map either. OCD going crazy. It doesn't fit in the middle. Oh, my God. That's close enough. Right, we're happy again. So what am I doing here? Let's have a look. Do, uh, do, 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 do. Great room tasks. Minimum progress is there. Okay, right, so in here, what is this? It's like a closet. So he wants me to knock that wall down knock that down and turn that into a bedroom into a room okay oh i see he wants a wall here yes i understand okay let's move this over here out of the way oh man what happened to all the stuff that was on it just falls on the floor oh what happened there oh okay I thought, I thought I'd put it in the bin. Thank goodness I didn't. Whoa. Come on. Seriously? Oh, man. So it looks like this latest update has introduced 
quite a few little bugs. Oh man, I can't do anything. Let's try moving that one. Okay, that one I can move. Now maybe I can move that one. No. What is wrong with this thing? Can we put it on the table? Oh, I put it somewhere. Put it on the floor. That's fine. I'm sure the uh, the owner will be fine with that. He'll be like, why did you leave it there? I couldn't put it anywhere else. I tried. <laughs> I just couldn't put it down, for God's sake. Right, okay. So let's get the old hammer out. Just start knocking ten tons out of this one. go. So I'm just trying to remember all the discussions and stuff that I had. Oh yeah, I was going to mention the, uh, the, the new UI stuff, uh, or the new interface stuff. Well, the, the problem is that I've discovered, and I don't think anyone's mentioned it, because I haven't seen any evidence that anyone's complained about this particular issue other than me, is when you buy a house and you save... When you buy a house and you um, haven't finished renovating it and you save, when you go back into the game and it takes you to the office, there doesn't seem to be any way of getting back to the house that you've built. Unless I'm completely missing something, which is possible, because there's no tutorial for this. And it's all just about whether or not you stumble across these things, I guess. But it, it seems like quite a significant problem. And because I can't talk, I can't leave any comments or, or, or talk on the, uh, on the beta testing uh, platform, then uh, I can't even s sort of ask anybody, what's the situation here? Is it busted? Is it fine? Not enough room to place this wall. What are you talking about? There we go. Don't know what that problem was. Maybe it was sort of in the uh, in the wall a bit too much. Okay, good. So this will be the first wall that we've built. It's proving to be very tricky. Why won't you go there? Oh, I get it. Click first and then click and hold. Click, click and hold. Gotcha. That's the way to do it. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Oh, balls. I've just realised that maybe, maybe, possibly, I put that in the wrong place. I think he wants it there. Yeah, he wants it there. Oh, nuts! All right, well, we'll knock it down. All my lovely handiwork, gone. done? I think that's done. Okay, good. Right. Click. No. Click and hold. Is that right? What's the yellow line all about? Oh, man. I've <laughs> I, left a, I left a little bit behind. Whoa, crikey. That came down easy. All right, there we go. There we go. Right, we're on it now. We got it sorted. Just to take this opportunity to say that uh, in real life, should you need any work doing to your house, uh, like uh, a room converted into two rooms or something along those lines, I highly recommend you don't employ the services of people like me, because <laughs> I have not got the skills required. That being said, I did help my dad build large portions of his own house. Um, we. Uh, 
We dug out the foundations and installed a new DPC one time. We've built extensions on the end. Uh, I think possibly I helped with the upstairs area. I can't remember, it's, it was a while ago. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not completely useless. Just uh, right on the borderline there, I think, is probably where I sit in terms of building. That being said, I did used to go and help him when he was working uh, on, on people's houses. But uh, yeah, just general labourer. I have done kitchen conversions and all sorts of other things as well. It sounds like I'm trying to sell my services, doesn't it? Honestly, don't employ me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Right, let's get some paint in here. Paint, 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 paint. Always go white. When you when you build a house, uh, you go blank canvas. And this is all, this is basically everything I was talking about in the episodes that you're never gonna see. And I'm so disappointed. It was such, it was so much fun. Oh, incidentally, if you're wondering how I'm painting a double areas and super fast, it's because whilst I was uh, up do doing up the house that I bought, I got loads of upgrades. I suppose I could show you that in a second. Uh, and incidentally, if you keep painting on an area that's already painted, you are still using paint. So just bear that in mind. Well, that didn't work that time, did it? So let's show you these perks. These are the new perks. Oh, I've got an upgrade available. Uh, paint three walls at the same time. So I'm going to upgrade this one. Uh, so I should be able to go start painting here, drag it across and get all three pieces done at the same time, like that. Do you see? That's the perk. That's, one, that's quite a good little perk. Um, in terms of how realistic it is, I'm not going to discuss that, but it uh, certainly makes my job easier, and that's all I care about. <laughs> right, that's that done. Pick it up. I'm pretty sure that room's done. So all we've got to do is come in here and uh, paint Dad's ha uh, room. Oh man, all this is going to fall off again, isn't it? Take this into the little girl's room. Oh, she needs a new bed as well. So, I mean, this is quite a cool little job. I was contemplating taking this job before I um, bought a house and started doing it up. I'm hoping a little bit that I might still have, because it seems like I still own the house. Um, so I'm hoping that in a future update, maybe I'll get get to be able to talk to the devs and just sort of um, point out what's happened and maybe they'll be able to find a fix and then I'll be able to get my on my house back right now you can see it's getting a bit dark outside these are the new lighting effects that we were talking about now there is an issue because if I look down <gasps> so there I mean there is a bug there and it's not just when I look down there's a few other times that that happens as well so uh, yeah, I mean it's it's good, but um, it's clearly quite broken at the moment. But uh, it will get better. And again, you know, this is beta. This is exactly what beta is all about: is identifying these problems and uh, and getting them fixed. That's exactly what we're here for. That's why we're doing what we're doing. I think I might need another. So annoying. I keep missing one like that. I think I might need another paint pot. I don't think this one's going to have enough in it. No. Definitely not enough. Right. Okay, so we'll dispose of you and we'll just order another one in. It's very annoying. Let's, let's use the light switch. Uh, e. So the lights are now on and that fixes the uh, looking down issue temporarily. Are you kidding me? I started on that one. How annoying. Right. Flipping out, can't see a thing. <laughs> and this should be the last one. I can't reach it. Yes, I can. 
Can he reach it? Yes, he can. Can he reach it? Yes, he can. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to leave the paint there so that the owner's got the necessary paint to uh, to do what he wants to do. We need to buy a new bed, so we'll go up here two beds. And uh, this is wrong as well. Alphabetically ascending, uh, not that one's wrong, sorry. Uh, price ascending. So it should be cheapest to most expensive, but it's actually the reverse of that. So a small issue there. Price descending. There we go. Single bed green. Which one did we think she'd like? I think she'd like that one. Single baby bed spruce. Pine. Striped. Yellow. Now what's interesting is this image doesn't change. But when you get it... Ah, oh man, I can't see. Because there's no light switch in here, is there? <laughs> That's a problem. The devs didn't think about that. So Dad controls the light switch for this bedroom from the light switch in his bedroom. There we go. Okay, that I mean that looks okay. That's not too bad. Um, definitely, we do need. How how is it going to work if I install a light switch here? I don't think I can. Should we just have a look? Hang on. Two. Remove furniture baby bed that is a horrible looking bed isn't it let's, let's get rid of that now why it says here remove furniture baby bed well I've done that so why is it still saying I haven't done that I was, just, I was just having a quick look then. I was thinking, oh my God, please tell me there isn't another bedroom, like another baby's bedroom. And I've done the wrong one because I've done that before. Many times. It's just the basement. There's no light switch in here either. I like the new lights. Oh, look, there's the air conditioner. That's the first one I've seen. I like the idea of the light switches being implemented, but it looks like they haven't fully thought it through. There are areas where like, there are no light switches. So we don't need to put a light switch in here. We have done the minimum progress thing. All right, it's changed now. Place furniture, single bed grill. So perhaps I bought the wrong type. Ah, uh, yeah, I bought spruce. Single bed grill. There it is. That's quite cool, actually. Pillow. What colour is crate? Pink. Frame. Oak. By now. Perfect. Job done. 100% progress. I don't know why I bought that other bed. I should have paid more attention. So that's cool, guys. That job is done. We're not going to worry about the fact that we don't have a light switch. In fact, I'm just wondering... Well, hang on, that's not the right room. I'm just wondering, if we turn the light off in here... Oh, it stays on in here. So, hmm. I, thi I think if I installed a light switch... Can I... Let's have a look here. Oh, hang on. Uh, it might be... Oh, no, you can install a light switch. Right, just, just out of interest, let's install one here. Let's have it the right way round for a start. Say about there. Right. That is so cool! Isn't that awesome? So that works then. That is basically based on room limitations um, incurred from walls. Although, hang on. Bloody hell. Why is it so bright? It's daytime. So I've been here all night doing this job. Cool. Job done. Let's hit enter. Well done. You have 100%. You have done 100% order. You may complete order for 3,000 complete. Excelente. Excelente. Now, I bet we still don't have enough to buy a house, do we? We need 59,000. I'm so annoyed. So, so annoyed. 
I'm going to have to do like another three jobs before I can buy a house again. And then I'm going to have no money left over. Whereas before I had 45,000 in the bank. I really hope they fix this because I, I want to show you the house I built. It's absolutely brilliant. And I took some photos. <laughs> I just remembered I took some photos. Right, now, up comes that. You go to camera. Hey, gallery. Where are my photos? Oh man! Oh, I took some before photos and uh, I was going to take some after photos because that's the kind of cool thing you do when you, you're house flipping. But it, it seems like, I mean it took the photos so I don't know why. Let's just do a test here. New photo saved. Let's go to gallery. Ah, so they're not showing up at all. So they're probably in there somewhere. And uh, at some point when they fix these, this bug and these issues, then, uh, then hopefully I'll be able to show you that house. And if we're really lucky, I might even get my house back. And that would be great because I've got to sell it to get my money back on it. And I spent so much time there doing it up. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, take care of yourselves and uh, I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.